And my inquiry this year is um, around math, uh, specifically math word problems. And I chose this inquiry because one, I loved math growing up as a student, and I also loved teaching math um, as a teacher. Uh, thinking about my previous years teaching math, there was one specific challenge that kept coming up, and it was word problems. It was not only difficult for the students to understand the word problems, but it was also a challenge for me to teach them. And so I really was hoping that through this inquiry, I would find out what is making word problems so difficult, one, and two, what can I do as a teacher to better support my students' understanding of the math word problems. Um, so my inquiry took many different turns, but right now I'm settled on this one learning goal, which is that students will be able to tackle um, the complex text of math word problems using the strategy sentence unpacking. Uh, so while I was thinking about my data, looking over video data, which I took of uh, partners working together as well as taking interviews of my students, I really just wanted to know from them, do you even like math word problems? What is hard about them? What is easy about them? And what do you do when you're faced with a really hard problem. And that was really the turning point of my inquiry. I heard one student was like, there's just too many words in this word problem. I was like, yeah, I, I totally feel you. <laughs> um, and they're like, I just see two numbers and I add them. And I was like, okay, thank you for being honest. Um, but at that same point, we were actually learning a strategy, sentence unpacking in ELD, where you take a juicy sentence and you unpack it for meaning and um, for meaning and language features. And so some of the language features are like long uh, noun phrases, uh, prepositions, um, when a sentence starts with a conjunction, like but, like what does that mean? Uh, and so I wanted to take that strategy and use it in math. So this is an example of one of the unpacking, sentence unpacking that I did in ELD. This sentence came from a book, um, but you can see that we're, it's messy, right? We're circling commas, we're talking about who are we talking about, Ruby, we're breaking down what a comma means, this is a transition word. So we're really breaking down the sentence and unpacking it for meaning so they can understand what is going on. So I wanted to use the same structure and strategy um, with my math word problems because what I was coming to realize is that I can't even ask them to do the math. One, they might not even know the math. <laughs> But I have to really figure out, are you even understanding what you are reading? Because they would just zoom through it. So these are examples of, of some student work of their own sentence unpacking. And you can tell, it's front and back, um, that students were crossing out words, they were circling words, uh, drawing arrows, pictures. Um, really trying to figure out what is going on in this in this Before problem. Before you got to this stage, yes. did you do a bunch as a whole group? Yeah. So, so they knew what to do. Yeah. Right? So we did a lot of guided practice through ELD, and then we did a lot of guided practice through math. And this has really impacted my practice in that I'm now seeing word problems as complex text. Complex text was so like ELA, you know, ELD. And then I was realizing that students are having a hard time comprehending this. Like these, this is an example of complex text. So let me use the same strategies, but in, in math workshops. Um, right now I'm stuck with some questions of what, how do I measure success of this strategy? Right now my measurement is if they get the answer right and if they're doing the correct math. But I'm also unsure if that's even the right measure of success or if there's more than one ways to measure success. Because my real hope is that I'm giving them these tools to build their independence as mathematicians, to build their agency, but also their ownership as mathematicians. So when they are faced with a really challenging problem, SRI even, SVAC, that they have these tools that they can try before seeking an answer from an adult, which were they, they were so used to doing when they came into my class. Like, just tell me, what is it? Um, and another group asked about how uh, I used to teach math word problems looking for the keywords, right? Like all together, that means you add them all together. Um, fewer means minus, and then I realized that's actually not true. Um, and so I was like, oh, I'm teaching you all the wrong ways because if you're giving them those keywords, they, when they look at the problem, those keywords are the ones that are popping out and they're really not reading for understanding. Um, and so I really wanted to slow it down. And the slowing down part, I feel like, is the most nerve-wracking as a teacher because you want to get through like the 10, the 20 problems. And instead, I'm like, I only did one problem this whole math workshop, um, which is right. It makes you a little nervous. 
Um, and so, but I realize I'm, although I'm going slower, I'm getting more out from them and they're learning more. And so my next step is really how do I support them in explaining their work to their classmates? We're doing a lot of the individual work, but now how do I support them with the language to share out in a concise and clear way so their classmates can understand their thinking?